Okay. Hey, everybody. This is Shirley with Shirley's Wolf 14. And I am working on a pocket letter. And this is what I've got done so far. It's basically a baseball trading card that has nine pockets that we fill with goodies. Um, and we decorate. Um, the cards are two and a half by three and a half. Basically an artist trading card. Also known as an ATC. And so I am finishing decorating this one that I am making for a swap. So, so far I've got the first row done. And it's Christmas theme, Christmas in July. So, we will continue. So I just put some of this white washi tape across the bottom of this one. And I'm going to put this Kris Kringle on here. I'm using double stick tape, score tape. This will hold it down to the card for me. Okay. So I'm doing a Christmas theme. It's not going to be like gaudy Christmas, but just hints of Christmas, I guess you could say. Winter and Christmas. I have a lot of Christmas stuff I pulled out to help me decorate it, make it pretty. So I'm going to put this card on here with Kris Kringle. It says Kris Kringle on there. Now I'm noticing it's sticking out just a smidge. So I'm going to just line that up a little bit. There you go. So that's pretty. Now I need something for the top. And I also have, um, let's see, maybe I'll put a nice bow on there. The big red bow. I'll watch you forever when it comes to Christmas. <laughs> you probably could watch me forever as much Christmas stuff as I have, though. Oh, boy, these stars are coming off on everything. Let me go ahead and stick them back in there. This one... This was a Martha Stewart, and the tag looks like it's from Tuesday morning. So when you can catch sales at Tuesday morning, that's a good place to get stuff, too. My closest Tuesday morning is 100 miles away, so if I have anything from Tuesday morning, either somebody blessed me with it, or they went shopping for me. I have a couple of friends that go to that store that they will pick me up something if I request it. Oh, oh, that one went right on his face there, so I gotta trim that up. The tail on this bow is a little long, so we're gonna trim it back a little bit. There we go. Then I think I'm going to put one of those. Um, where are my. Yeah. Candy canes. Gotta have some candy canes. Gotta have some candy canes. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. I got all my scissors pulled out. Keep it clean for me. All right. So that one's done. Now I don't decorate the back. Because the back is... Hello, I've never done a pocket letter. Oh, well, welcome. This is a pocket letter. It's a, um artist trading card sheet. It has nine pockets. The cards are two and a half wide by three and a half tall. You decorate them. And then you put goodies on the back. We do like a pack of tea, a note from you. Um, and then you do little things like buttons and flowers and bows oh my so <laughs> but you decorated it and made it pretty this one you can see along the edge there I have some washi tape you know and you, you know, use what you have that's what I like about these 
I get to use up my stuff, my stash, because Shirlene has a stash, believe me. So it's good to know that I can use it up. And um, this one says, may Christmas love and Christmas cheer surround and bless you again this year. So I like this. And this, I think, was a uh, like a um, Project Life card. So let's cut this down because it definitely is too wide. Let's see what we can do here. So yeah, pocket letters are fun. You can send them all around the world. That's how it got started as a pen pal thing. Um, a way to, you know, send your pen pal something and get to know people. Because people don't write letters anymore. We all have email. So, yep. Oh, that fits in there perfect. Just like that. So this will be the middle. Some people leave the middle um, open and they put, um, what is that? They put sequins in there and make like a little shaker pocket. I'm not doing that this time, but I have done it when I've made them before. You can make turn that into a little shaker pocket. Or i rather just put the shaker stuff in a bag and stick it in there so that they can use it instead of it just be sitting there in the pocket. And there's people that put these in binders and they collect them from all over the world. I have some, but I think the one that I got that was international was from the Netherlands. Never made a shaker. Oh, that'll be okay. Shakers are easy, easy. You need sequins and some clear stuff or trans. Is it transparency or vellum? probably more like transparency actually i could even turn one of these pockets i have a fuse which is a heat tool that will seal the plastic once i um finish putting my stuff in there so if you have a fuse tool you can make a shake it that way too cool so that's on there nicely now we want to pimp that out let's see we do candy cane down here and a candy cane up here how about that I like it subtle but still cute see so Lori's creative stamping hello I got a long list of wants yeah <laughs> girl yep make yourself a craft list a craft wish list you can use the plastic from your stamps protecting protect yes yes you can use you can buy regular um, sheet protectors and use that even if you have, like I said, if you have a fuse tool or even if you don't have a fuse tool, you can use clear double-sided tape and still make a shaker. Same thing. You got to know how to do things. You got to be creative when you don't have all the tools and all the gadgets and stuff because everybody can't afford all that stuff, you know. I got a silhouette that I have yet to use, and it's been on board with me now since, what, 2014? My husband got it for me after my cancer battle, and I haven't plugged it up yet. So, you know, things happen. Life happens. Let's see. What do I want to put on here? Do -do 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 -do. I think I want to do the Christmas tree will fit on here. We haven't done a Christmas tree yet. Yep. I'm going to put a Christmas tree and I'm just going to put an extra piece of sticker on here. You know me. I like to make sure it doesn't come off. I don't trust the adhesive that the manufacturers put on there. <clears throat> so it's coming together so nicely. It really is cute. And you can always go back and do little accents like um, a little piece of sequins or some bling somewhere. Okay, make sure this is straight. Okay, so we got a little Christmas tree. Now, what else I want to do? How about some snow? We haven't used any snow yet. A little snow.
Did somebody say Tawana? Like, like my Tawana? Like my girl Tawana that's having a birthday tomorrow? Hey, girl! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> yes. I know, I'm working on her birthday project. I told my husband, I was like, I'm working on Tawana's birthday project tomorrow after church. Because I need to get it out the door Monday for her. And he was like, okay. <laughs> So, she going shopping. Girl, enjoy yourself. <laughs> enjoy yourself. She going shopping. Birthday shopping. That's always fun. Okay. So, I think I want to use one of these. Woo! Okay, I guess so. One just jumped out. <laughs> I don't want this to be too bulky. Do I want to put it up here? No. I want to put it down here. Christmas lights. Maybe I should make it look like it's coming off the tree. It's so big, though. No. I'll say that for another one. What do we want to put on here, here, here? A button? Maybe a button? This would be a good place to put a little glitter glue. I don't have any out. I'll just put a couple little buttons on here. Oh, we need a star for the top of the tree. Gotta have a star for the top of the tree. Make that one's too big. How about that one? That one's too big too. I want flat. Oh, please, I go through my button collection here. Oh, this one's pretty. There you go. We'll switch to put the red here and put the white down. Okay. Hello, welcome, welcome. We're just decorating a pocket letter. And when you do these, you don't have to be, don't feel intimidated for the people who said they've never done one. It seems like it's a lot, but you just go with the flow. You know, whatever appeals to you. I'm a rebel crafter anyway. I don't like being told you can only do this, this, and this. I I, I do whatever my spirit feels like at the moment. Thank you for the hearts. And, um, yeah. I haven't created anything that I haven't liked. And that's the joy. That's the beauty of it. You know, you do what moves you. And I might even put a little candy cane on here too. Right there. Okay. So that's that one. It looks a little naked across the top to me. So I think I have a little snow fun right here that I think I'm going saying. Ah! Let me show you. Right here it says snow fun. I think I'm going to put that across the top of that card. I'm stuck in the box. Okay. <laughs> I hope you find your way out. <laughs> Let me put this up. Shirlene got washy for days and years. Washy, washy. You know why? Because I have friends that like to tell us and show us stuff on YouTube and Instagram. And then you're like, oh my God, I need to run to my house. <laughs> and then we run and we buy and we buy and we buy and we use and we buy and we use and we buy and we buy and we buy and we use and before you know it you're like holy smokes Batman when did I get all this stuff okay yes that's what it needed now it's nice look at that 
Okay, we are moving right along here. We, as they say, cooking with fire. That slides right in there. So we have now completed two rows. There's row number one. Oh, that's okay. Row number two. I understand people have lies, believe me. So now we're going to work on row number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what are we going to do for row number three? I think we need some more uh, snowflake. Where are those gold snowflakes at? Here we go. We need some more snowflake because I got the other two's got some. So we want to try and keep it uniform as much as possible. So we're going to put this right smack in the middle. Then we'll work around it. I could do a tree. I could do, let's see. I have a snowman. I think I'm going to put the snowman on this one. This says, I love winter. Burr. We'll do the I love winter. I like that. So this is a Christmas in July, which is, I guess you could say light Christmas. <laughs> I'm not trying to like go buck wild Christmas, like at Christmas time. Like I will in December and November. This is just kind of like, here we go. Winter. We have that on there. Looks nice. And so we already have a tree here and a tree here. We have a snowman. We have a deer. Plenty of um, plenty of what are these damn things called again? Candy canes. So I wonder if I want to do this now. Let me see. Just one from each corner maybe. A green one red and green that's Christmas colors yeah there you go I like that I like it I like it I like it hi Leah thanks for coming to my scope I will be definitely resting my back after this, after being periscoping almost two hours and recharging my devices. Because periscope, if y'all don't know, is a juice monster. It will suck the juice right out of your phone, tablet, or whatever. I don't drink the apple juice, so I'm droid all the way. Hello, hello. You guys, we're getting there. We got two more cards to do after this, and we are done. From beginning to end, if you follow me, you can see the other um, scope where we started with just at the very beginning, cutting the paper and everything. So there you have that one. I think that came out cute. Put it in here. Okay. <clears throat> this is coming out really cute. Now, I think this one we said we were going to do the snowman. And I still have a lot left on here. I haven't used that much off of this thing yet. So this is worth this money in gold. Chipboard accents, they're called, by Echo Park. This is a bigger piece, so I can use my bigger score tape the whole letter is cute thank you I I'm in a swap on Facebook a pocket letter swap so I'm hoping my receiver will enjoy it it's Chris the theme is Christmas in July hello hello Brooke welcome to my scoop Okay. What does that mean? Regard. I mean, I take that that I take it that you're not from the USA. So explain to me what does that mean? Because I've seen you post that several times in the scopes. So maybe you can. It's, it means chow. Okay. Okay. That's what I needed to know. 
Oh, is it a troll? Oh, okay. Trolls need Jesus too. Just saying. <laughs> so that's what they do now. Before it was happy faces and all that kind of stuff. I mean, the trolls have really... It's always something with them. I mean, because I've been with Periscope now like two years. Two or three years. Hello. We gonna keep saying hello. Hello, hello. Uh, we got a snowman. We gotta have some snow around my snowman. And, um... What do I wanna do? Okay, we do have some snow. We got some little snow dots on here. Oh, we got the word cold, too. But we already have a sentiment on that other one. So we'll just do some snowmen. Snow, snow, cold. So let's put that one there. We got another red one over here. Put that one there. And then I'll get one of these glitter ones out. Where did it? Where did I put them? There we go. Just like that. I'm going to follow you. I enjoy crafting ideas. Oh, cool. I do too. I am a big time crafter. I'm also a planner girl in a planner world. Yes, I am a planner girl. I use mostly happy planners, but I'm not brand specific. Okay, so that's that card. And let me catch her. Let me catch her so I can block her. Okay, so you guys, we're getting down to the last one. Look how pretty it's coming out. Thanks for the hearts. You use Happy Planner too? Sweet! Look how pretty it's coming out. We got to do the last card now. I'm going to move my foot because it's trying to go to sleep on me. All right, um... I think we need more Christmas, more Christmassy. Let's see what I got here. I got trees, bows, don't do it. We're, oh, we probably should use another star too, because then the four corners all have gold stars. So we use another star. Because I'm a star. We don't want to see. I think this time we'll... Do we want to go across the top? Uh, eh, we'll do it in the middle. We'll work around it. Okay, so... We got a snowman up there. Oh, I got some more of these pieces. That's right. Maybe a house? We could do... I got this house. Mm, no. Maybe do... Oh, yes. Gold star with red star. Yes. Yes, and then maybe put one more gold star because I have some gold stars here. One more gold star in the middle. So we can star it out. Oh, star, a wonder, star of light. We're going to star it out, you guys. Do you collect all your supplies throughout the year? Um, yeah, I guess so, but I don't, my craft supplies are for my, I craft all year long, so I buy all year long. <laughs> um, yeah, the craft stores have sales all the time. There are different seasons to crafting. Um, you know, they have CHA, which is the Craft and Hobby Association. They have something twice a year where they launch like the new spring or the new fall stuff that's coming out craft wise like if you guys know about Anna Griffith Anna Griffith on July 11th which is in a couple of days is coming out with an H 
does it a HP? I think it's a HP craft print crafters printer. It is a printer specifically for crafters. And I was like, oh MG. It will it will even print on fabrics and materials and stuff. And I was like losing my mind. Wanted to stop in. Hey Lena, how are you? Thanks for coming by, girlfriend. I'm just making a pocket letter today. I'm sure you know about those. I think I've seen you make one or two. You collect even though I'm not sure what I'll use them for. <laughs> be careful with that. Be careful with that for the simple fact that you don't want to be end up a hoarder. So if you buy something, at least have in mind what you'll do with it. So that you don't it's not just sitting around. But yeah. Some of us girls do that. A plan of girls, we just get stuck buying all the stuff. <laughs> and then you're like, oh God, I got all the stuff in my house. What am I going to do now? So we triple layered that star. We'll see if you can see it there. Did you hear QVC? But yes. And you know what? Mr. Bob told me about it. He was like, did you hear what happened with QVC? And I'm like, no, what happened? He was like, they bought out at HSN. And I was like, what? So I had to jump and do my research. And sure enough, it's behind the scenes, though. It's not something that you're going to see. It's not like there's going to be two QVCs or anything like that. You need advice storage sheds ago. <laughs> Listen, I have a storage shed, so I totally understand. Um, um, they bought them out. They mostly bought the, the remaining stock. It was like six, they have 60, the remaining 61% stock that they didn't have um, in HSN. So now QVC does own HSN. The purchase was for $2.1 billion. Okay, can I say that again? $2.1 billion. And let me tell you what their, what their strategy is because I, I have a master's in business, so I understand all of this. Their strategy is that um yeah they already own some of them their strategy is amazon and walmart are their two biggest competitors and they figured they couldn't beat them individually so they merged so that the two combined can beat or can stay competitive with amazon and walmart okay so do you see where this is going amazon Walmart and QVC HSN are the three biggest online um, providers right now. So the war is going to be on. This holiday season should be extremely interesting. It's all about the dollar bill, y'all. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. In the corporate world, most definitely. That's how it runs. One eats another, eats another, eats another, and before you know it, you just got one major company. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, just like KFC and Taco Bell are owned by the same people, you know. You guys got to watch these things. They may have, one, one corporation may have many companies with different names, let me put it like that. But it's all, it's all going to the same bottom dollar <clears throat> okay that's enough business for one day <laughs> love my bag oh thanks I got this at um for $15 on sale at um Joann's because you it, I think it's supposed to be like a sewing a sewing bag but I wanted something to keep all my little tools in like I got my hot my hot glue thing here in here and I always put a bunch of stuff in here that to keep handy for me because you know what my spinal stenosis I can't jump up and run all the time to get stuff so I try to keep stuff close but I like to keep it organized because my desk is already you know so here we go we have this last card here and I think it needs something in the in the corners see I don't like my corners some snowflakes it needs snowflakes there you go oh my god you guys we did a complete pocket letter all the way from beginning to end it took three scopes but we did it <laughs> Oops. 
it took three scopes but we did it oh my gosh we are done and it looks gorgeous i'm not gonna keep y'all on here while i figure out what i want to put in it but let's let's see what we created here oh man you guys it's been so fun it has been so fun i mean it's been two hours so you know you can do a pocket letter in two hours if you have your stuff and have a general idea of what you want to do have a theme in mind gather your supplies like i did here and um here so that's the back remember we we put the red paper on the back and this is the front you guys we did it look how gorgeous Christmas in July pocket letter we got the winter across the top here and the snowman we got the deer in the tree then in the middle we have the Kris Kringle like I said it was gonna be a light Christmas not heavy Christmas snow and then we did the last line here with the winter the snowman in the middle in the store you're very welcome so that came out really nice and then the only thing I have left to do now is put little goodies in the back and I'll probably do like you know some little buttons and some little doodads where's my doodad jar at I don't know what, oh there it is um you know little stuff that I give maybe I have a bow here maybe a couple of bows I have some flowers maybe a couple of flowers maybe some washi tape samples you know I have those little what they call plastic bottles so beautiful and interesting it is it is and then what people do is they collect them and they put them in a three ring binder you know that came out I'm really happy with it you guys I I don't have a problem sending this to my swap partner I will probably um, decorate it just a little bit more on the on the side here and then put all her goodies on the back and a letter from me telling her who I am and what I'm about and yeah it came out nice so yay this was fun you guys I didn't know that I would have so much fun just hanging out on Periscope and um teaching so maybe next Saturday we'll figure out something else somebody said talked about doing a shaker so maybe I'll pull out my uh, fuse tool and we'll make some shakers so yep right now though i need to go rest my back after two hours of sitting here and those of you who watched the first scope try not to laugh too hard because we went through some changes right valeria yes girl but we came out with the v victory in jesus name i tell you what there was all kind of obstacles going on <laughs> But I want to wish each and every one of you a blessed rest of your day. Thank you for coming to my scope. I appreciate you. If you're coming on the replay, be kind and leave some hearts behind. And uh, we'll see you next time. Yes, yes, I have no problem sharing. No, sharing is caring. Ain't that what they say? Sharing is caring. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It came out beautiful. So... All right, you guys, have a blessed day. Talk to you. Yeah, I am. I'm going to go do that now because Mr. Baba be home later and he don't want to see me crying in pain. <laughs> All right, bye for now.